everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to something very exciting. This is a bad intro, isn't it, for a contest where you might not know me. My name is Cassie, I run this channel and also I blog by the name of Thrift Thick. I am so excited to put this video together for you all and to welcome some new people to my channel hopefully, because I am doing a contest here on YouTube. I was invited by the lovely Jen of Jen Loves Reviews. I will put her username right here and I will link her down below to be in this best of beauty competition here on YouTube. It's kind of for the lesser known beauty people in the community, I guess. And it's just kind of fun. It's like almost like a little American Idol type thing, except you know, I, I don't sing. You can't vote for me here on this video. Please don't vote on this video, but please vote for me. <laughs> Do I sound desperate? <sighs> Maybe I'll get a pity vote. You go and you vote for me on Jen's video. She will put a video on her channel. I will also link it down below and if I'm fancy enough and can figure out how I'll also put it like a link to the video at the end of my video. Basically the first video here that we're supposed to make is do what you do best. And um uh, what do I do best? What do I do best? What do I know? <laughs> this one looks good. Oh my god. Can I be a lint master chocolatier so that I can make these and eat these and just be fat and happy for the rest of my life? Good lord. So, I'm glad I at least have friends and one of those friends of mine, she told me what to do for a video and I was like, you know what, that sounds good. So I'm gonna be doing my top five, it's actually six, beauty products for the summer. And I tried to make it kind of half drugstore and half higher end, so Hopefully you can find something in your price range, or something to splurge on, or something to be cheap with. <laughs> so, let's get into it. First up, this is where I cheated, and you know, I said five of my favorite summer products. Well, it's, it's six, because I'm pretending like these two are one. When two become one, I need some love like I never needed love before. It gets raunchy from there on out. I've got these two products and I'm combining them as one because they're both kind of for the same thing and that's for longevity of your face products. If you're anything like me, you're sweaty and in the summer, that's only exaggerated. That was my cat Galileo. He'll pop in and out from here on out. Anyways, longevity of your face products. I don't know where I ended off. I think I was talking about how sweaty I am. That's usually a good place to leave off, right? Makeup Meltdown. That kind of came from the summer, I would like to think, because you're gonna sweat your makeup off. Hello, YouTube. I'm Galileo, and I'm a beautiful Siberian boy. I just turned one a little while ago. Uh, uh. And I like my mommy. Ah! And I like to sit on her shoulder. What are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> I like to make my makeup last a little longer. <laughs> Can I keep going like this? <laughs> I've got two of my favorite products here. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> my two favorite face products for increasing the longevity of my makeup are definitely the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's a mouthful. It's also expensive. And then also the Urban Decay D Slick. Also slightly expensive, but if you're lucky, slash you're a bargain hunter like I am, I got this puppy on sale because they just redid their packaging, and so I just bought the old packaging because they didn't change the formula as far as I know, and I don't mind the old packaging, so I got a deal. I got mine for $13 at Nordstrom Rack, and then the Hourglass Veil Primer is $52 for an ounce. I know, I know it's expensive, but it's so worth it. If you've ever felt the bottle, it's frosted glass, and that's what it makes your face feel like. And then it makes your makeup last all day. And for a little added insurance there, I've got the D-Slick. So that primer is gonna help your makeup to kind of like onto your face. And so to make it super suction, we go in with the D-Slick. 
and you basically just spritz this on after you put all your makeup on. It also says to do it before you put your foundation on, but I don't do that and it works just fine for me. It just sets your makeup all day. With these two products, my makeup doesn't go anywhere. It is fantastic. I have found my holy grail combination and it is with these two products. Along with makeup meltdown, we can also have lid creasing problems. Sweat gets up in there and just eyeshadows crease. What can you do? So to increase the longevity of your eye makeup, my favorite, favorite, favorite cream base is definitely by far the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadows. They are just the holy mecca grail of cream shadows. They are buttery, super smooth, and super pigmented, and they last all day. They are gorgeous just on their own or to put underneath your eyeshadows. My favorite one is in the shade Birthday Suit. Oh, I've used it in a couple tutorials before, so I'll try and link those down below for you if you want to see it in action. But I just, I can't say enough good things about these creaseless cream shadows. I think they're like $20. So yeah, they're pricey, but this is another one of those products that's gonna last you a long, long time. I've had this one for probably almost two years now and it's still going strong. So definitely worth the investment and I just, I can't recommend the creaseless cream shadows enough. And he returns. So moving on to another part of the face, I'm going to talk about blush. I have a blush to show you all from H&M. And this is in the shade Spring Flower. I don't know that they put out other ones of these, but like I've said in another video, it's basically just the one that's beautiful. It's got this really gorgeous embossing of roses, and then it's got four different colors of blush in here. They've got like this kind of magenta pink color, they've got an orange shade, a coral shade, and then they've got a light pink kind of shimmery shade, but the shimmer doesn't really translate onto your cheeks. This stuff is so insanely pigmented so you don't need a lot of this i think this cost me like five dollars from h and m i can't put this down for the past two months this has been what i've worn every single day and for any other beauty makeup junkies out there that's a really big deal plus it does last all day all day this blush isn't going anywhere and for a powder blush that is amazing <laughs> Let me tell you. Moving on, I've covered a lot of the face. I also just wanted to include real quick a hair product for you because we all want some luscious locks during the summer, right? We want that beachy, bedhead kind of a, I wake up on the beach and roll around in the sand all day and just look like a mermaid goddess. I mean, you really don't, but that's a nice feeling, right? To get my hair looking real nice, I love using hair oils. And the one that I've been using, as you can tell because my bottle is basically empty, I have been loving this Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist from Organics. I got this quite a few months ago, probably like three or four months ago, so this lasts forever. I got it at Target for like four bucks or something, I think, so really cheap but works wonders. I swear, within the first week of using this, people started commenting about my hair and how like lush and glossy it looks. And for someone like me, who basically has the amount of hair that an infant has, uh, that's a nice compliment because my hair is definitely not one of my like best features. It really is weightless, like it says. It does not weigh your hair down. It does not make it greasy. It just provides a really nice glossy shine to it. It makes it really smooth and just overall lovely. Last up, I've got my last favorite. I've covered cheeks. I've covered face. I've covered eyes. I've covered hair. What's missing? Oh yeah, this thing that hasn't stopped moving for the past 800 minutes. My mouth. And my favorite, favorite, favorite lip product, I mean, I love the Revlon lip butters basically all around. The one that I've been reaching for this summer, basically ever since I got it, is Juicy Papaya. I'm wearing it right now. I just think it is the most brilliant and lovely lip product ever. I wear this pretty much every single day. I don't even have to think about it. And it's just that gorgeous kind of corally orange flush. Revlon lip butters last really long on me. 
I find them to last and stay pigmented probably for like five-ish hours and it keeps my lips hydrated. I just love them. I know some people don't think they're that great or they're not worth the hype, but I think they're super worth the hype. I love my lip butters and like said, especially Juicy Papaya. So definitely go try this one if you haven't. They smell fantastic like vanilla and they're just... I could go on, but I'm not going to bore you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you got a nice little taste of what I've been loving this summer, my top five, but it's six, products to kind of keep my makeup going and make me look a bit fresher than I normally would because of my sweat. Like said, if you liked my video, I would be so appreciative and would love it if you went on Jen's channel and voted for me there. You can also vote for two other girls, so... Don't feel locked down by me or anything. So I hope you vote for me and I hope you enjoy. If you want to see my other videos, definitely subscribe. And yeah, comment down below. Tell me what are your favorite summer products. And I guess I will just see you all next time. So stay well until then. Bye.